Hi, and welcome to Omniverse. In this series, Five Things to Know About Materials, I'll present five essential tips to help you work with materials in Omniverse. During this video, we'll review where to find materials in Omniverse, how to assign, edit, and manipulate materials, how to create your own materials from templates, how to import your own MDL materials into Omniverse, and how to convert existing materials to Omniverse. Before we begin, I recommend you download and follow along with our sample tutorial file. And if you haven't watched the video, Intro to MDL and USD, I recommend you check that out as well. Let's get started. Omniverse comes with a number of materials ready for you to apply in your scene. In the content window, navigate to our material library under Omniverse, Localhost, NVIDIA, Materials. Here you will find two libraries, Base and vMaterials. Base is our collection of materials based on Omni PBR. It includes materials ranging from organics, textiles, construction, and architecture. vMaterials is NVIDIA's curated collection of common, real-world materials. If you're familiar with vMaterials, Omniverse comes with version 2.0, our new high-resolution, updated physical materials for design and AEC workflows. To apply material to your object, navigate to a material in the content window. Drag the material onto your object in either the viewport or the stage window. Alternatively, you can drag your material into an empty portion of the stage and assign the material afterwards. Simply select the object, right click, and assign the material in the pop-up menu. A dialog will open, allowing you to select your material. Click OK to assign the material. To edit a material, select the material in the stage window. The property window displays the material's parameters. Any modifications to parameters automatically update in the viewport. To apply textures to an object, simply set the texture map parameter to the name of the map you want applied. Navigate to a texture in the content window and drag the texture onto the parameter in the property window. Alternatively, clicking on the folder icon next to the parameter opens the Select Asset Browser. Navigate to the texture and click Select. For assets that use UDIM textures, modify the texture path to include the UDIM token, less than, UDIM, greater than. Template materials are materials authored to achieve a certain class of looks. Omniverse comes with several core templates to achieve looks such as glass, metals, dielectrics, transparent, and multi-lobe specular materials. You can access these templates under the Create Materials menu. OmniGlass is used for transmissive glass or clear plastic materials. OmniPBR is our general purpose material template that can be used for metal and dielectric materials. By adjusting the metallic parameter, you can blend between these two modes. OmniPBR Clear Coat is like OmniPBR, but with a secondary specular lobe to simulate surfaces such as car paint or any other material with a thin clear coat or varnish applied. Omniverse supports the loading of custom MDL material files. In this example, I'll use an example MDL from Adobe Substance. After you've created your material, export your MDL to disk. In Create, Navigate to the MDL file in the content window. Drag the file onto your object to assign the material. Omniverse supports a number of digital content creation tools. For content created in 3ds Max, 
V-Ray, Maya, or UE4, Omniverse comes with several methods to transform your native materials into MDL. In Maya, you have the ability to map native Maya and Arnold materials to Omniverse templates on export. In 3ds Max, V-Ray, and UE4, you can map your materials to Omniverse templates or generate MDL equivalents of your materials. Once your material and scene is exported to USD, simply load your scene in either Create or View. For more details on how to use our Connect plugins or how to work in specific applications, please check out our Omniverse videos on Max, Maya, and UE4.